Nobel Prizes are given to those achievements have made a profound impact on the world at large. This year, 2018 Nobel Peace Prize Award went to Dr. Dennis McQueen and Nadia Murad. Dr. McQueen works as a doctor in the Democratic Republic of Congo where he helps victims of sexual violence at the hospital. He heads the Pansy Hospital. Murad works at the Yazidi rights activist. She also survived sexual slavery at the hands of, of is the Islamic State. Both have spoken out against sexual violence and have worked to help those in need. In 2018, Murad published a book, The Last Girl, that tells her story. On October 8, 2018, Sony announced they are working on the next PlayStation console. Sony's Kenichiro Yoshida confirmed the company is working on a, another console release to replace the PS4. The new console does not have a name and would not give more details. Report says the successor to the PS4 could be named something in 2019. A Wall Street Journal article dated on the 4th of October said Nintendo will release a new version of the popular Nintendo Switch console. The new system is expected to launch sometime in the second half of 2019. New features are still being decided by the company, but the article says the company will not use the old screen used in the smartphones. The first Nintendo Switch was released on March 3, 2017 and quickly sold out. The console is still being sold very well and Nintendo expects to sell 20 million units by the end of March of 2019. Anonymous street artist Banksy was best known for his piece Girl with Red Balloon pulled a stunt that shook the art world. On October 6th at the Sumdabai's auction house, the Banksy painting was put up for auction. The auction ended with a sale of $1.4 million. Suddenly, the frame painting was run through a shredder built into the painting's frame. Banksy later put up a photo of the shredded painting and the surprised onlookers with the caption, Going, going, gone. On October 9, 2018, a couple were from Mexico had been taken into custody for holding a suitcase that contained human remains. When they were detained and taken to a correctional facility, they both admitted murdering 20 people, which is twice the number that authorities believe they were responsible for. Authorities are now determining whether the claims are true or not. The identified individuals, Juan Carlos and his wife, Priscilla, were arrested on a Thursday. Epicac, which is a violent suburb in northeast of Mexico City. The couple lived with their own three children that were police found the remains of their victims wrapped in plastic bags or sealed in cement. The couple lured young women to their home offering to sell discounted children clothing. The couple sold one woman's baby to another couple. Authorities were led to the couple after tracing phone calls made by the women who were missing. Okay. On October 10th, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Hurricane Michael made landfall near Mexico Beach, Florida as a major Category 4 storm with 155 mile per hour winds. Michael's low central pressure of 9, 919 millibars makes it the strongest storm to hit the U.S. Florida panhandle since 1969. Many towns like Mexico Beach to look like a bomb went off on them after the, after the hurricane says Scott says Scott Rick the governor of Florida the storm killed at least 19 people and rescue crews are still looking for many more who are missing schools are closed at the because of the hurricane and many students are without school scientists are trying to understand how the hurricane went from being a small tropical storm to a category 4 hurricane Governor Scott says it will take ten, uh, many years to recover from this. Flint, Michigan has had a water crisis dating back to 2014. It is now 2018 and the problem is yet to be solved. But Elon Musk donated $480,000 to bring clean drinking water to public schools in that area. Schools will have new water filtration systems that will filter out lead and other bacteria. Musk tweeted out that he wants to do more for the city of Flint. 
Back in 2014, the city's water supply was switched from the Detroit water system to the Flint River. The water is filled with lead, which is a dangerous substance to humans. Michigan officials have not come up with the solution and previously told the people that the water was safe to drink. Toys R Us may be returning, although many, many stores across the country and across the world have already been shut down after the toy store declared bankruptcy. A group of investors say they are willing to bring the store back to life because it's too valuable to let go. Due to the store being auctioned off to the investors stated that they will do anything in their power to bring back the toy chain. Potential partners and the investors will help to come up with new ideas for all the stores in order to the store to bring in more customers. Toys R Us shut down because of a $5 billion debt loan. As soon as doors closed for the iconic toy chain, many workers lost their jobs. It was a special night on Monday, October 8th for Saints quarterback Drew Brees. Brees broke Peyton Manning's all-time passing yards record during a 43-19 win over the Washington Redskins. Drew Brees now leads every quarterback in NFL history with 72,103 passing yards. Brees, who is in his 18th season, broke the record in the second quarter with the 62-yard catch and run by wide receiver Traquan Smith. The game was stopped so Brees could celebrate with his teammates and his family. The game ball was sent to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Brees also got a message from former President Barack Obama who called the quarterback a class act. Brees' next milestone looks to be the NFL's all-time touchdown passing record. Vic Mensa this deceased rapper X during his BET Awards freestyle. It is not known exactly what he said yet because the award show does not air until the 16th. But family and friends have took to social media to expose artists for calling an ex an abuser. XXX Sensation's mother was in the crowd when the freestyle was performed and she has stayed silent about the situation through she received the award for the best our new artist on X's behalf. Vic Mensa has posted a video addressing the matter and says that he was not sorry about it. He explained that he called X an abuser due to allegations of abuse before X's death. Venom just made a huge debut at the box office. Spider-Man's infamous villain starred in his first ever movie that released October 5th. The movie tells his origin story which departs a bit from the classic comic book storyline. Eddie Brock, played by Tom Hardy, becomes connected to a symbiote that gives him tremendous powers. The movie's budget was a jaw-dropping $100 million and has already surpassed the $200 million mark. The movie will likely get a sequel and end credits give a glimpse at another infamous movie villain in the Marvel Universe. What do you think about Gonzalez? I think that Gonzalez is a great community to uh, live in. Um, the school is pretty uh, nice. The kids are very um, uh, respectful and the community is pretty uh, supportive. What do you think about Gonzales? Well, the thing I think about Gonzales, it's pretty. It's a good town, pretty small, you know. Everyone knows each other. How do you like the weather here? The weather here, and I don't really like it. It's bipolar. In the morning, it's really it's cold, and in the, in the afternoon, it's hella hot. So I don't like it. Where do you think the best place is to eat around here? I recommend the taco truck in front of the farmers market. They give the best tacos in the whole city. What do you think Gonzales needs? Gonzalez honestly needs more fast food restaurants to bring more people into this city. What kind of people do you meet here in Gonzalez? You meet a lot of funny, nice, and interesting people here in Gonzalez. 
What do you think of the Gonzalez football team? Honestly, the Gonzalez football team is looking the best it has recently in the last 15 years. What do you think about Gonzales? What I think Gonzales is a very small town that is, the community is very good because we all know each other and the school is also a good part because of all everybody gets along with each other there's not that much problems and I think that's what's good about Gonzales. How do you think the weather is here? The weather is pretty good there's not that much like cold or that much hot it's, most of the time it's neutral but it is very windy. That was the problem here. But at most, it's all right. Where is the best place to eat around here? Uh, the best place to eat in Gonzales for fast food is um, McDonald's. And for a restaurant, it's probably Luigi's. Our football team is 6-0. What do you think about them? Um, I think we're doing very good. I think we could go uh, to CCS. And I think it's a new start to a, a great football career for the future. What do you think about Gonzales? I think Gonzales is a very small town, which is cool because we all get along and know each other. How is the weather here? I, it has its windy moments, but I like it, you know? Our football team is off to a great start. What do you think about them? I think I'm very happy for them because, you know, we never usually win before, but, you know, they're winning, so that's a good thing. Where is the best place to eat at here? Mike's Pizza. What is it like being a student at GHS? It's pretty cool because you get along with the teachers, you know, you mess around, you're cool with the kids, it's all good. What do you think about Gonzales? Um, Gonzales is a big town to me and it's really quiet and everybody knows each other. How is the weather here? Um, here the weather here in Gonzales, I like it. It's pretty warm and cold in the morning because over here it's a cold world. Where is the best place to eat at here in Gonzales? Um, the best place to eat at here at Gonzales is Luigi's because I'm all about that rich stuff. Our football team is off to a great start. What do you think about them? Um, I don't really care about them, but I do support them, okay? What do you think about Gonzalez? Uh, I love it. It's a great community. It's uh, caring. It's like a big family. How's the weather here? Uh, it's pretty windy, usually pretty cold, but sometimes we get our hot days. Where is the best place to eat at here in Gonzales? Uh, in my opinion, it's Luigi's, the Italian restaurant on Alta Street. What is it like being a student here at GHS? Um, it's challenging, but it's also fun. You know, you enjoy your time with friends, but you also work on your studies. How do you think the community is around here? Uh, it's caring, kind, everyone knows each other, so you'll say hi to anyone on any street. Our football team is off to a great start. What do you think about them? Uh, the best team we've had in over 20 years or so. Uh, I think they can go undefeated and maybe even go deep in the playoffs. So
What do you think about Gonzalez? Uh, Gonzalez is pretty cool. It's safe and everybody knows each other, and it's just a small town. What do you think about the weather here? The weather is very bipolar. Where is the best place to eat at here in Gonzalez? Um, well, I always eat at McDonald's, so I think I would say McDonald's. What is it like being a student here at GHS? Uh, it's good. It's well, everybody's nice to each other, and uh, I get along with all the teachers here, and it's just, it's pretty cool to be a student here at Gonzales. What do you think about the community here? Uh, the community is pretty nice. Uh, everybody comes together whenever we have um, events here in Gonzales, and well, everybody knows each other, so everybody's familiar, and everybody's like cool with each other. What do you think about Gonzales? I think Gonzales is a nice community. How is the weather here? The weather changes and it's bipolar. Where is the best place to eat at here in Gonzales? The best place to eat here is probably McDonald's. <laughs> what is it like being a student here at GHS? Uh, I don't know. It's like you're always doing your own thing. You're a running back on the football team. What do you think about your squad? Uh. Well, this is probably the best tier. We're always working to get better, and we want to go 10 and 0. How is the community around here? The community is small. It's a good community because everybody knows each other and they got each other's back.